clips. We're gonna watch this iDubs TV food tier list. It's a re-upload. I, I haven't seen all of his stuff. I've seen most of it. I've seen the one where he talks about people who do reactions, and I agree. Yes, I do agree. That dude Jinx. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. You, you can't make up a living just doing, just smiling and watching his reaction. You don't even say anything. Look at look at my videos. Okay. I get out of my I get out of my comfort zone and do stuff. I get out of my comfort zone and just I go all out. The last I did I did was I think a year ago. Yeah, let's watch this one. Three, two, one. What it be? What it do? <laughs> Boy, I dubs back with another legit food review. Yeah, he used to do this. Is that a good intro? Trying to bring in uh, a new group of people, a group of cute people. If you're a bit confused, you got one of them. Is all about, <laughs> it's a tier list. I get enamored with tier lists. Every time I see it on Twitter or something, like uh, it, it doesn't matter if I have like no knowledge of the topic. I'm interested in seeing what happens. I think it's the same for a lot of people. As an example of the, the level of dedication I have to this tier list, if one of these boring ass science channels like B Sauce or, or I'm not to say I like B Sauce. Boring, I'm subscribing to them. Not exactly, you know, not exactly drama, not exactly jerking everyone's gherkin. If one of these science channels uploaded a video titled Tier List elements of the periodic table i'd be like okay time to finally fucking solve which elements are the best you know i would like i want to know that i'm committed to tier list i yes yes okay guys this is a fast bring it out let's, let's see I've the list places like Starbucks i want his opinion i want his opinion on uh, i don't think that'd be fair to have them in this list and i'm doing places that have big numbers you're like i've have pretty much eaten every like every one of these restaurants so i want to agree or disagree opinions i want their i want y'all it's called dome and it's never wild. heard of that one place, so good, delicious. now obviously the whole point of a tier list I think papa john should be on top all of the good attributes about the places that you like and magnify all the bad Carl Jr. Hardee's like. a, a KFC is a C I think KFC is average, I think. We should have a bit of a normal or chode distribution here, okay? Where does Arby's belong? Well, um, if you're disgusting, it it's up here in the S tier. If you're, if you're a foul human being, if you're sort of an alien type creature. But if you're a normal human being, <laughs> it's an F tier because Arby's is trash. No, no, it's not an F tier. It's an E tier simply because... There is a 10-gallon hat in the picture, and that reminds me of Sandy. The only good thing Burger King has ever done was uh, Their foot lettuce. release Pokemon toys for the brief period that they did. Burger King, E-tier. Carl's Jr. always likes to advertise that they got tits and they got burgers. Tits and burgers. Tits and burgers. But when you walk into one of these joints... You don't get the tits. There's no tits... Yeah. And the burgers are 1% better than a Burger King burger. So Carl's Jr. is in the D category. My girl Chick-fil-A gets... I thought it was A, maybe B. Because, man, she, she nice as hell. That's C, then. Man, she suck you off for C every for Chick word that you speak. Fillet. This place is almost uncomfortable with how nice the employees are. Chick-fil-A, you're in B tier, although you might jump up to A if you start... Like good luck, your Char... Oh. Chipotle. So the thing about Chipotle is that uh, it's it's sort of like Subway with a build-your-own burrito type situation. It's sort of this illusion that you're going to have a new, unique creation every time. But uh, out of the 17 different burritos I've made, each one of them has tasted exactly the same. Chipotle is C tier. Now, I really want to emphasize this with you guys. The thing about Domino's Pizza... I don't think it's that bad. I liked it before they did an overhaul, and I liked it even more. It's not that, so maybe a. I have to go with my gut here, uh, and go with basically the gut of everyone else that I've communicated with on Earth. Everyone I've ever met has said Domino's Pizza is garbage. There's no denying that that has to be the case because is it the bread? I think it. it's the Domino's bread. Domino's Pizza is an E tier. Dairy Queen shouldn't make food. F. If you were ever dissatisfied with a Five Guys meal, it's probably because you don't have any taste buds. Yes, uh, if you're troglodyte, you would uh, disagree with his opinion. Five Guys is S tier all the way. In and Out is, uh, in some ways, very similar to Five Guys. In other ways, their fries aren't as good. 
so uh, it's an A tier. Jack in the Crack makes the best boiled taco. Next time you're Jack in the Crack, ask them, can I have the boiled taco? And they will okay, I didn't know tacos with. could be boiled. That's the taco, brilliant. The, the taco's but... so good, they should actually rename the Taco Bell might uh, Jack do that. In the taco. <laughs> because it's that good. But it's not that good. It's like, um, uh, I'm putting Jack in the Box yeah, in the C tier. It's closer to a D than a B, but I'm going to put in C for now. Yes. Mm-hmm, thank I agree you. with his S and so C the thing tier. About mm-hmm. is I'm not so certain on the kernel. I'm pretty sure the colonel was like a slave owner back in the day. And even to this day, I'm not exactly sure if KFC has like completely denounced uh, slavery. I think that puts KFC sort of in the C tier. Little Caesars hosted one of the best grime step beatboxing performances I had ever heard. For hosting Lucid Diamond Eyes, I'm going to put Little Caesars in A tier. I mean, hmm. how can I not? Uh, so McDonald's uh, has refined their menu to the point where I think you could go into a McDonald's blindfolded, throw a dart, and it's going to hit something that uh, has been consumed by millions of Americans and is delicious. It's in A tier. Yeah, I don't know about Papa John's. Um, I think most pizza is just going to be in B tier for me because it's just fucking good. You know, it's hard to mess it up. Pizza Hut, B tier. I know a lot of you are probably disappointed that I spent all of two seconds on Pizza Hut and Papa John's. That's where they belong, is in B tier. Sonic is kind of meh. Why? At least it, it up above, Pizza Hut's like A. Uh, the bottom half of the list. Papa John's. There's this awesome experience. It's the top tier pizza. Everybody gets there. Everybody gets one of their stalls, their parking stalls. Someone will slam into your window at 20 miles an hour on roller skates, and they'll present you with your food. Yeah, D. It's kind of fucking lit. It's gonna be D, isn't it? I haven't seen the video. Category. Uh, I know everyone is going to agree with my opinion of where Subway belongs on this list, and it is firmly in the F tier. Subway exists when you are too lazy to make a sandwich at home. Because your sandwich at home is going to be light years better than the sandwich at Subway. I think I said sandwich at some point some point in there. That's mm. what you're getting at Subway. You're getting a sandwich. I want a Subway sandwich, please. But I so you mean a sandwich? Never had the cookies. The cookies are to die for, <laughs> I dogs. Have you ever had a Subway sandwich cookie? They fucking suck. No, they don't suck. They're good. The cookies are good. They're like, would you like the cookie with that, sir? Would you like to ruin your good, healthy choice for the day, sir? No. I get off There is not a single cookies. restaurant that you can go to that is going to be a replacement of Taco Bell. You cannot replace this shit. All of these restaurants here, they can probably a- accomplish what these other ones have accomplished. This, this is its own thing, uh, which puts it sort of in like the, the B tier. But man... There's only one place you can get the Baja Blast. There's only one place you can get the fucking Gordita Runt, gr- gr- grunt Wrap Supreme. You can get fucking Grunt Wraps there. That's amazing. It's probably uh, exactly what a Crunch Wrap Supreme is, but they've uh, inverted it. The meat's on the outside, and it's encased in cheese. Okay, so the thing about Wendy's is they got a hot-ass spokeswoman. This is during the time when she was right. very meme. Like... She's a bad little chick. Like, so roasting cool. with memes and stuff really on Twitter. I really with Wendy Square Meat. So you know I gots to put Wendy's somewhere on this list that ain't gonna be insulting. Hell yeah. All of this is exactly how it should be. I'm issuing everyone a challenge. If you think your list is more accurate than this, then fucking prove it, bitch. Make a better list than this with a better opinion that accompanies it. I'm doubtful. There's a lot of doubt in my All right. mind. I'm gonna be frank. Paul John's uh, just... Yeah. Uh, um, One up. Um, 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 I agree with Five Eyes. Um, yeah. Okay, guys. That's Everything was legit, though. Let me know if you yeah, like that's pretty much it. And I, will, uh, I said I KFC is a, is a C. It's average. I was right. Uh-huh. Wrong. That's pretty much it. There you go. I have no idea what that is. I wasn't. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, this must have been 2016 or 2017. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna do, like, once this channel kicks off, I know the reactions are 
whatever, yeah, lame. I'll do more in the future. Once 